Yeah, boss. No, we, I don't know, man. We we got that car that you said the intel said was the president, but no, it was just some like, some girl in there and she's like dressed like a princess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It was weird. No, she's not really talking much. No, she just kind of like giggles a lot. <laughs> Hi. You want me to go ahead and just waterboard her anyway? Just see? All right, I'll see if she said anything. <clears throat> You gotta talk. Tell us where the president is. No, she's not saying anything. She's, she's actually giggling right now. Do you know where the president is? Because that would save us some time if you could just tell us like where he is. Not saying anything. I don't want to do this. Like, just talk. It'd be easier on both of us if you just talk. I don't think she's gonna say it. I don't. I honestly don't think she knows what I'm saying. No, she speaks English, but she's just. I don't know. She's like dumb. Yeah. Okay. Just cut her loose. Yeah, I agree. I think. I think we're just wasting time here. All right. Yeah, you can go. Sorry. Sorry. It's just. It's just a mix-up. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bye, bye. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Sure would be a shame. Hi, welcome to Demolition Ranch. Good to see you. It's been a while, like a whole day. So we did a weird thing last time. We actually split this video into two days uh, because I realized it was gonna be just too long if we did the whole thing. So this is part two where we actually put the vest on them. So to recap, if for some reason you missed yesterday's video, these are clear ballistics gel dummies. So they are just torsos right here of this ballistic gel, squishy ballistic gel. And then we put these uh, executive vests on from Premier Body Armor. So these are level 3A, which means that standard means they should stop up to a 44 Magnum. And what we want to do is shoot them with more powerful guns than a 44 Mag to see how many uh, <laughs> ballistics dummies wearing body armor it would take to stop increasingly large rounds. We're gonna start with a 22 long rifle, which is very dumb, because it's, it's totally not going to go through anything. And if it does, I'm gonna single-handedly kill a body armor company. Oh, shoot, I'm just kidding. Nothing, 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 did not go through. We looked at it and we actually we had the thing on backwards, so there's our 22 hole. We spun it around, because this is where it's supposed to be hit. There's a extra trauma plate there in the front. So now we're gonna shoot a real caliber. This is a nine millimeter out of this 2011, and it also should stop. Bulls over here, so hit right in that trauma plate. Let's find out. Nothing. No penetration, not even close penetration. 45 ACP also should stop. And? also did stop nothing not even a dent no ripple in the back we are starting to ripple the front a little bit but nothing has gone through it yet we did do birdshot on the last video so we thought let's just go ahead and keep it the same and uh click click boom that was birdshot shot right in the exact same spot the other ones were shot i bet it didn't go through survey says oh did it no, it didn't. All right. It looks like it did because it's like rippled, but I bet you. Yeah, no, nothing went through. It just pushed it really hard, so it ripped this fabric. So we have still not had a pass through with all those hitting in the same spot. Shotgun slug. This is a one ounce 12 gauge slug. I'm going to try to put it in the exact same spot those are hitting. <laughs> oh, he might have got messed up. 3A is not necessarily supposed to stop 12 gauge shotgun slugs, but it looks like we did anyway. So it ripped that layer this time, but did not come through the yellow Kevlar there. So no shotgun slug in our guy. And you can see I hit right on the spot where we're hitting all of those. Ooh, it's in there, it's hot, it's right there. Uh, it's very widened now, but did stop it. This is the, the trauma plate, just an extra little piece of Kevlar in front. So this is the first thing it hits. That is our 45 ACP. It looks like I missed the trauma plate with the uh, shotgun slug, but there's where it caught the 45, the shotgun slug. Yeah, it's still in there. There's our wad, and there's the slug right down there buried in the Kevlar. 
So you can tell we've really messed up the integrity of the Kevlar there. So we'll probably aim for a different spot. I, no, let's just, let's send one more in that hole and just see what happens. 10 millimeter out of the high point. Now in yesterday's video, the 10 millimeter went the furthest out of any of our rounds because it's a powerful round. We have a long rifle length barrel here and it wasn't going fast enough to like break it up like the bigger, more powerful rifles were. So I'm gonna try to shoot in the exact same hole. If this thing's sighted in, we'll see and see if it goes through. Now, if it does go through, I wanna say this is a very unfair test because we've shot everything at one hole. But if it stops it, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, it's a little, a little bit low there. And stopped it. Nothing came through at all. Good to go. Yep, that's where actually where it hit right there. So it cracked that green stuff, but the Kevlar underneath it, totally fine, no hole. Okay, AK-47, little tiny one. This is the little Micro Draco. And this is actually the whole reason that I was doing this test is because I wanted to see how many of these torsos with body armor it would take to stop big bullets. And then we just got so, like, I got really interested in the ballistics gel in the last video that I just didn't have time. So we're here now. This is AK. It is going to go through at least one layer of the uh, ballistic shell. This one went through two layers of ballistic shell without armor and then stopped kind of in the second and third. So we'll see what this does when it is hitting armor. I'm going to shoot over to the right of our hole where we've been making. Dude, fireball out of this is insane. Okie dokie. Yeah, that went through, straight in right there, and then came all the way through a tor- No, it, dude, look at that. There it is. <laughs> so don't worry. If you're wearing a level 3A vest, it'll go all the way through you and you can easily pull the bullet out. You don't have to go to surgery. You're, you're good to go. All right, so our AK went through one layer of vest and one torso, and that is it. So let's shoot a 5.56, which is moving faster. So that's interesting because if you were hiding behind your buddy and someone shoots with an AK, you both are getting hit. But if your buddy was wearing a pistol rated body armor, he would still get hit, <laughs> but you would survive with an AK. What about a 5.56 without sights on it? Oh, let's see if I can put this just right above the AK round. I'm gonna guess where it's gonna go. I'm pretty happy with that. 5.56, five, right there. So this is kind of cool. This is what AKs do. Big, they dump all their damage really quickly because it's a big, heavy, slower moving round. 5.56s five, are going so fast that at first they just poke tiny little holes because they just zip right through it. And then they usually explode. So that is what happened. It did explode, came through right here, hit right here, did not come out the back. Nothing there at all. That was our 22 hole from earlier. So 556 is the same thing, a little bit worse because the AK round didn't even put a mark on this, but the 556 was still moving pretty fast, put a mark on it, but second Kevlar stopped it. Ugh! So I haven't told you guys the real test that I wanna do. I wanna see if a 50 BMG can pass through every single one of these. Five guys with five vests on. Pistol rated vest. 50 BMG's big. For instance, here is a 5.56 next to that 50 BMG. Uh, that's the last round we just shot. So yeah, it's a pretty big round, and uh, I think it's going to go through all five. I just have a feeling. But I would love to hear your vote as well. Comment below what you think is gonna happen to this giant full metal jacket 50 BMG. This is not an armor penetrator round. It's just a full metal jacket. Is it going to go all the way through? There's only one way to know. Fire it! That was a lot of jiggle. First one. He's dead. Yep, let's just, let's look at these in order. Urgh! Little hole here. <laughs> Boom. Dude, look at that. That is insane. So when these go in, they spread real wide. I don't know if that fragment, yeah, I think that is from a 50 right there, that fragment there, because it goes off and curls around. Hadn't seen that one before. Explodes there, 
comes out right there, goes into there, and then comes out, goes into here, blows that hole on that. That is our nine millimeter from earlier in there. Blows right through there, comes out. Oh, ow, oh, that's really hot. There's a piece of jacket, a very hot piece of copper jacket there. And then something is carrying on, going sideways. Dude, did it stop? The force to stop this thing is crazy, but it looks like it did stop. So it hit the Kevlar sideways, which means that bullet's probably not far. It probably fell off the table somewhere, but it's probably close to here. That's pretty crazy. So if you were the third guy wearing body armor and someone shoots you with a 50 BMG, your first two friends, but you're gonna get to drink a Dr. Pepper and hang out the rest of the day. So I was thinking, all right, hear me out. Black tip, right? So this is a armor penetrating round. AP 50 BMG to see if it makes any difference. So that it should just hold together better, which should make it carry further, I think. But I don't know if anyone's ever attempted this before, so we're all kind of learning together. 50 BMG black tip going at our line of armored men. Uh, I think it just caught it. With the way that vest flew up like that, I think we caught it. Second hit, right there. In, explode, boom, he did. And then, which one is it? So this is our first one where it was the not AP tip. This one, AP, is still going straight. So still a small hole coming out of our first man. That sounded, that, never mind. Wow, okay, so that's the back side, and I can see it stuck in it, and then this thing just got peppered with stuff, looks like, but not bad. So, there's a piece, a little jacket there. Oh, oh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of touching all this stuff. It's probably freaking hot, it is. Ow, 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 okay, there was another piece. It did come through, though. Oh, no, no, that's, that's the first one. This is the second one right here. This is the third, which is the same as before. It just kind of like tore up the front and tore up the back, but just because of pressure, nothing actually went through this. So somehow the black tip did the exact same thing. This stuff is weird because, I mean, our rounds, when we were shooting it without the body armor, we're doing weird things, but still, if you were the third guy and the dude has a black tip armor penetrating 50 BMG, you're good. There's one more thing that I want to try. Thanks for watching this episode, part two of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.